This could be the most popular egg shape board that's out right now. This is the Heroin 9.5 symmetrical egg board and this is the personal favorite board of Foz, the owner of Heroin Skateboards and the board that he rides every day. And if you guys have watched any of my egg board videos, you know that this is my favorite shape as well. So I've ridden a bunch of these 9.5 symmetrical eggs in the gold foil board and these boards are exactly the same besides this one having wheel wells and obviously the gold foil here has been updated and turned into a holographic type foil on this board. So they're exactly the same board besides the finish of the board and this one having wheel wells. So I was lucky enough to stock up on a couple of these boards and these are the boards I'm looking to ride more consistently, this shape and this size. And so many of you guys have commented on my video saying that this board is your favorite board as well. And all of the comments on Heroin's posts about these boards, people are saying the same thing. It's their absolute favorite shape that Heroin make. So this could just be the most popular egg shape board in skateboarding right now. So I've never tried this board without the wheel wells, but I don't think that will make too much of a difference since I'm riding independent trucks now and I can turn a lot sharper without getting wheel bite. So I probably won't even notice that this one doesn't have wheel wells. But the main reason I decided to make this video is to address two of the biggest questions that you guys give me about egg boards. And I'm gonna get into those questions soon, but first let's take a look at the dimensions of this board and set it up and head out for a skate. So like I said, this is a 9.5 inch wide symmetrical board. It's 32.2 inches long and has a wheelbase of 14.25 inches. Now this board might be 9.5 inches wide in the middle but it tapers down towards each kick making the measurement over the trucks completely different to the middle which leads me to the first main question that I get from you guys the most which is what size trucks to ride for the egg board that you have so usually you want to have your truck width within at least a quarter inch smaller of your deck width or a quarter inch wider than your deck width so for this 9.5 inch wide board you would want to get a truck between a 9.25 wide to a 9.75 wide to stay within that quarter inch smaller or bigger but on an egg board that would be wrong since it's only 9.5 in the middle over the trucks is a completely different measurement so depending on the egg board you have depends on the truck size that you want to have so for this particular board it is 9.125 inches wide over the trucks here so to stick with that ratio I would want a truck that is an 8.875 wide up to a 9.375 wide truck now those truck sizes don't exist so you would have to find the closest to that and lucky for me I actually have just got 9.125 inch wide trucks so those Indy Forge hollows that I'm riding now are gonna fit this board perfectly over the trucks. So you always wanna work off of what the measurement is over your trucks, not the middle of the width of the board because that's the widest point. Figure out what the width is over the trucks of your board and then work within that quarter inch smaller or bigger and that's the truck size you should get. So that's the first main question I get about these egg boards and the second one is what size egg board you should get compared to the popsicle board that you ride. And I'll get into what size egg board will be comfortable going up to from your popsicle board size. But first, I'm way too excited to set this up and go and skate. So I'm gonna set this up and head out to skate. And then I'll answer that second question, but let's go and skate first. Man, I miss skating this shape so much. I love that it's symmetrical. I can just throw it down and skate it either way without having to worry which way it's facing. The symmetrical boards are so sick. Plus, if you're riding a symmetrical board, your kicks get worn down evenly as well. Same as your trucks. They don't get those big grooves in your trucks from doing a crooks or a feeble a certain way. So your whole setup wears down pretty evenly when you're riding symmetrical boards. So the first time I skated this shape when James gave me his old board, I ended up learning how to board slide to hurricane. And ever since I've wanted to learn the next level of that trick, which is the board slide to, I believe it's a barley grind. So board slide and then turning it around into a switch smith. So since this skate park has a really nice fat flat bar, I'm going to do a board slide to hurricane there first and then I'm going to get into trying to learn board slide to barley grind. Hopefully I can land that and I'll get into the answer of the second question of how to choose which size egg board to go up to from your standard popsicle shape that you're riding.
That trick was actually so hard to learn. So I got the board side of the hurricane first. That was actually harder than I expected because I haven't really done it on a flat bar like that before. I usually do it on like wider ledges. And then the board side to Bali, like I said, that was a struggle, but I'm so hyped that I learned that trick. So like I already said, this is my favorite shape. It's your guys' favorite shape. It's Foz's favorite shape, the owner of Heroin Skateboards and the designer of these boards. So that's just saying something that this could be the most popular egg shape board out there right now. And I love this thing. And for the answer of the second main question I get from you guys, and that is which egg size board to go up to compared to your popsicle size board. The first egg board I ever got was a 9.25 heroin egg. And just before going up to that, I was already riding a nine inch popsicle board. And to be honest, going up from a nine inch popsicle board to a 9.25 egg board, that didn't feel that big to me at all. So I feel like a quarter inch higher than your popsicle size shape is the equivalent to that popsicle size. But for me in the transition of going up to a bigger board size, from my nine inch popsicle size board to this 9.5 inch board, feels like the most perfect translation from the popsicle to the egg. So for me, I would suggest you guys to go up at least a quarter inch to a half inch bigger than your popsicle size board. So if you're riding an 8.5 inch popsicle board, you would want an egg board to be at least an 8.75 to a nine inch board. And for me, going from a nine inch popsicle board, my sweet spot is a 9.25 inch to a 9.5 inch board. And why this feels like the most perfect shape to me. So hopefully those answers help you guys and you can figure out what size trucks to ride on your egg board and figure out what size egg board to go up to from your popsicle size board. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out the 9.5 symmetrical egg board review I did right here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.